CBS has given the green light to continue Beauty and the Beast, the one-hour fantasy show starring Linda Hamilton as the beauty and Ron Perlman as the beast with the heart of gold. Wherever you go, wherever I am, I'm with you. As the star of CBS's most successful new series, Beauty and the Beast, Ron Perlman gets a lot of fan mail. Most of it asks what he really looks like. For someone who is as visible as you are these days, you're not very recognizable because of all the makeup you're in. How do you feel about that? If you have a personal life, which a lot of actors don't, but if you do, um, and you want to, you know, do your own shopping in the supermarket and take your kid to the park and walk about freely, um, you know, I'm able to do that unhampered. And uh, I have the best of both worlds. I have the recognition, and yet I, I have the anonymity. Although no stranger to Hollywood, Perlman remains relatively unrecognizable because his most visible roles have all been under heavy makeup. He was a caveman in quest for fire, a deformed villager in the name of the Rose. It takes Perlman up to five hours to get into and out of his makeup, making for work days of up to 20 hours. But he says his success makes it all worthwhile. It blows me out of the water. At best, I thought that uh, a show like this would gather, at best, uh, a small but loyal cult following. And uh, with uh, maybe a little luck and a great letter writing campaign, we'd stay on the air for, you know, a half a season or so. CBS has already renewed Beauty and the Beast for the entire season. Eric Burns, Entertainment Tonight.